A strong 6.4 magnitude earthquake hit central Croatia, leaving at least seven people dead and hundreds missing. Marvi Delfin will give us the details live. Uh, yes, Marvi. A 12-year-old child is among the seven confirmed dead, and at least 20 people were injured from the earthquake in Croatia, which hit on Tuesday, just before 12.20 p.m. local time. Authorities said that more are still to be accounted for as rescue teams continue to search the rubble for survivors. Throughout Tuesday, many aftershocks occurred, measuring magnitude 3 or slightly stronger. According to the European Mediterranean Seismological Center, the epicenter was 46 kilometers south of the Croatian capital, Zagreb, and the tremors were felt in 12 countries, even places as far away as Austria's capital, Vienna. As a precaution, Slovenia had to shut the Crisco nuclear power plant it co-owns with Croatia. Petrinja, a Croatian town of 25,000 people, was the worst hit after the same area was also struck by a magnitude 5.2 earthquake on Monday. In a dramatic footage captured by N1, Petrinja Mayor Darinko Dembovic was giving a press conference on camera about the previous day's smaller earthquake when Tuesday's earthquake struck. He described the widespread devastation to his town in a statement broadcast the day after. Croatian Prime Minister Andrei Plenković and other government ministers arrived in the Petrinja after the earthquake. Prime Minister Plenković said it was clear as day that Petrinja was no longer safe for human habitation, while European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen posted on Twitter that she had talks with Mr. Plenković and that help was on its way to member state Croatia. Asia. After touring Petrinja, Croatia's president Zoran Milanovic said that buildings damaged in the earthquake would be repaired, but that fear was the biggest problem, with residents saying that the quake felt worse than a war. The town was left with no electricity or running water as officials and the army scrambled to set up temporary accommodation and use barracks for all of the displaced residents in need, as residents refused to stay inside their homes for fear of another earthquake. William? All right, Marvi. Thank you for that report live from Australia.